AI-assisted prototyping tools promise to revolutionize how we create and test user experiences. They can generate interactive prototypes from simple prompts, transform static designs into functional demos, and supposedly save us countless hours of design work. These tools range from generating static screens to creating fully functional prototypes in code. But are these tools delivering on their promises? While they create seemingly impressive layouts, there are many hidden limitations and pitfalls people don't inherently think about. So let's examine both the pitfalls and general value of AI-assisted prototyping. First, they often produce repetitive and generic results. AI models are only as diverse as their training data, generating similar interaction patterns, visual styles, and user flows. This creates homogenized experiences that lack unique solutions your specific users and business context require, especially for complex systems. While AI quickly generates working prototypes, the real-time investment comes in customization, refinement, and making outputs relevant to your specific use case. This is particularly problematic when using AI prototyping tools as starting points without first identifying key goals and user needs to inform your prompting. Now, this might change as tools change and allow for more design system functionality, but this is very limited right now. Second, they create a false sense of finality. Because AI-generated prototypes look polished and interactive, it's easy to mistake them for near-final products. This can lead to premature design decisions or skipped validation steps. Remember, a prototype's purpose is to demonstrate proof of concept, test iterations with users, and gather feedback not to be the final product. This remains true whether you're using AI or not. The higher the fidelity, the easier it is to fixate on one idea and lose the iterative mindset essential to good design. Third, while solutions look final, they require validation to detect and correct errors. When you have limited domain expertise, it's difficult to validate AI-generated outputs, especially code that looks legitimate but may contain significant flaws. When using AI for any task, it's important to remember that AI hallucinates. And if you are using AI for a task you have limited expertise in, it's hard to validate outputs. The more entry level you are as a designer or developer, the more critical this becomes. The only way to build skills you need to validate code and create good design is through active practice and manual work. Fourth, they generate technical debt. If we don't have that domain knowledge, trusting AI output at face value can lead to fragile code bases, security vulnerabilities, and privacy risk. What seems like a development head start might often become a hindrance that developers must work around or completely rebuild. Despite these pitfalls, AI-assisted prototyping offers genuine value in specific contexts. First, vision demos and proof of concept. AI prototyping tools excel at quickly communicating vision and demonstrating potential feasibility. When you need stakeholder buy-in or want to show anticipated outcomes, AI creates compelling demonstrations without significant time investment. Instead of manually creating prototype interactions, use AI to generate interaction states efficiently. When you have concepts that aren't feasible to prototype in traditional tools like Figma Design, AI-powered tools like Figma Make can make them functional for demonstrations. Second creating interactions for testing specific behaviors. AI can generate interactive elements you need to test particular user behaviors or validate specific interaction patterns. For example, you really need to test a form you just made in Figma. But you know that with Figma design, you can't currently prototype working input fields. Well, in this instance, AI, like Figma Make, can help you create testable input field interactions based on your static designs that you'll be able to test with users. Third, experimentation beyond static screens. AI prototyping can push your thinking beyond traditional screen-based interactions. It helps you explore voice interfaces, gesture controls, game UI, or complex animations that would be time-intensive to prototype or animate manually. This experimental capability can spark innovative solutions you might not have otherwise considered. If you choose to use AI-assisted prototyping, remember to approach it strategically. Prototypes. AI generated or not, are never your final product, even when these tools make them seem polished. Treat AI prototypes as starting points for iteration and make sure to test, validate, and refine AI outputs. Most importantly, maintain your design process fundamentals. AI tools should enhance your ability to test, learn, and iterate, not replace the critical thinking and user validation that define good UX practice. 
The goal isn't to prototype faster, it's to learn faster and design better experiences for your users. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, enengroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our virtual UX conferences that offer live, hands-on UX training.